So a lot of you are wondering how they measure, um, how large the baskets are in measurements. Um, you're probably comparing it to the Ninja or you're thinking of buying some liners. So I'll take the basket out. In fact, I will measure the tray as opposed to measuring the basket because it's easier. I'll take the tray out. So this is the tray that goes inside the basket and we'll, we we'll measure it um, lengthways for the single zone. So you're looking at about 30, 33, about 33 centimeters. Okay, so that's about 33 centimeters or just about 13 inches, just touching 13 inch. And then for the width, we measure about 24 centimeters at nine and a half inch, nine and a half inches. Oh, well, that's width. Okay, for dual zone cooking or single side cooking, um, both sides measure around 16 centimeters. Okay, so that's 16 centimeters or 6.3, 6.4 inches. And then obviously it'll be the same um, the other way as before at nine and a half inches okay nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters that way um, when you're buying liners um, if you if you're buying parchment paper liners that is um, you probably want to buy them a little bit larger so they kind of fold over at the edge so your juices or whatnot don't fall down as as much um, I think that's what I prefer but if you prefer them to to fit in nice and neatly no edges um, then I guess that's the measurement you're looking for um, so for single single full basket 33 centimeters by 24 centimeters that's 13 inch by 9.5 or for dual single basket it's 16 centimeters by 24 or 6.34 inches by 9.5 inch okay So I'm currently just using what I've already got in the kitchen, um, some greaseproof baking paper that you just uh, rip off, it's just one big roll, um, and then just cutting it in into size uh, and then putting in. I do like the edges to, to go over a little bit above, um, so the food, oil, uh, juices, whatnot, don't go down into the basket, so it's easier to clean. Um, some people do prefer the silicone, uh, trays uh, or liners that you put in the basket um, but I'm not sure how I feel about them I just don't feel that cooking in silicon um, or the plastic is that healthy um, but I do I do know I do know that there is silicon on the on these baking papers as well uh, they are coated in silicon a thin layer of it but for the time being I'm just going to stick to parchment paper um, I might venture out and, and try these silicon trays one day um, just to save a bit of money and they are reusable so we'll see how it goes I have bought some liners from Amazon I'll try and show you which ones I've bought on the screen and they do come uh, larger in size I bought I bought it so that it fits the whole tray 
um, and it measures at 30.5 times 40.6 centimeters um, again I bought it a bit larger than the actual uh, measurement of the basket so that it kind of goes over the edge just a little bit not a lot just a little bit and it's the single sheet ones that I've bought and they're £15.86 for 200 sheets which I think is not a bad price it was the best deal I could find online um, and I've been looking all morning so that's what I bought I'll try and bring it up onto the screen to show you um, another thing to um, another reminder I have to mention when you're using these parchment papers in the air fryer um, if it's if it needs preheating if the air fryer needs preheating don't put the parchment paper in it will singe it will burn so put the parchment paper in after it's preheated make sure you have food in there when you're putting it in the air fryer okay I've only managed to buy um, parchment paper liners for the single zone use, so for the full basket size. Um, so I've not bought any single zone liners for now. I've just bought it for the one basket. And I think I'll, because I've got 200 sheets, the ones that I've just bought. So I think I'll just cut them and use it that way uh, as they're large enough anyway. So these are the parchment papers that I've bought on Amazon. Um, I've bought for this size, this 30.5 by 40.6 centimeters. 15 pound 86 for 200, I think is pretty good. And they're single sheets, so um, no ripping required. And they seem quite heavy duty, quite good quality too. Uh, and they come in a box, which is quite handy for storage and yeah. I think they should be um, good quality enough and last me a while. If you don't like them that long, that large for your basket and you want them to look pretty neat and don't want to fall around the edges, then you probably want to go for this size, 23 by 33 centimeters. They come in a box of 200 as well for £15.95. I think these will be okay too, the 20 by 30.5 centimeters. Um, they should fit in neat, quite neatly for the single zone basket. They shouldn't fold um, much around the sides, if any, actually. And that'll be, that's only a box of 120. Okay, but I have got these ones because I'm a bit greedy. I want them a bit, bit larger around the sides, okay? If you are looking for parchment liners for dual zone cooking, then these ones should do the job for you. These are found on Amazon and they measure at 22 centimeters by 14 centimeters. The instant versus zone measures at 24 by 16 centimeters. So a couple of centimeters difference. So these should be just perfect for your air fryer. As you can see, they're compatible with Ninja Foodie dual zone and instant vortex plus dual basket air fryers. So if you're looking for some disposable, uh, convenient, single-use liners, these will be perfect for you. I hope you found the video useful. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions, uh, drop me a comment. I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Once again, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.